this you know, read about Adam and Eve. We all know that story. Um, you start to read about uh, Deuteronomy, Exodus, you know, the stories of Moses, the story of, of Noah, the story of Lot and Abraham, and, and all these stories that I know. But I was surprisingly and astonishingly shocked by some of the stories that I read about these same people that I learned about in Sunday school. Um, just for instance, and, and this is a big testament to why Allah kept sending us prophets and why Islam was sent as a complete and perfected deen with the Quran. If you read about Noah in the Bible, there is the story about Noah saving uh, uh, humanity from the flood with an ark and all of that. There is this in the Bible. There's other another aspect to the story of Noah that, that not many people know about unless they actually take time to open a Bible. This will not be preached from any pulpit anywhere. Is that the, the Bible says that Noah was an alcoholic. This is the Bible's portrayal of Noah, or Nuh alayhi salam, that he was an alcoholic, he was a drunkard. This is the word used in the Bible, that he was a man given to alcohol. And <clears throat> I'm a psychology major, and my, my, my uh, field of specialty is mental illnesses, and, and alcoholism is one of those, is, is a mental illness. And I know from seeing alcoholism's effect on one of my close uh, friends' parents, uh, I know that someone who is truly addicted to alcohol, and if Noah lived for so long addicted to alcohol, he was seriously addicted to alcohol, um, it is hard for someone addicted to alcohol to hold down a nine to five job working at McDonald's flipping hamburgers, much less <laughs> construct an office. <laughs> the stupidity of people, amazing. Anyway, guys, first of all, you're idiot. At that time, life was very simple. People, they have nothing really much to do. They move their animals from place to place. The animals are eating and people are sitting. They are shepherd. They don't work in McDonald's, you dummy. They don't have a job to go to. Uh, their life is their animals. Very simple. They don't do anything. Uh, you know, when we, when we speak about people doing jobs, you know, we are talking about people who they are living in a civil, uh, civil life like today. Uh, in the time of Noah, when we go back in time, we will see that those who have a job to do, like jobs are really uh, very simple at that time. You know, let us say, <clears throat> maybe we can say the only uh, two uh, or three major jobs, we can call them jobs, what was making tools or clothes, making tools or clothes. And uh, and the rest, it might be like something to follow, like a, a builder, you know, somebody he is... Uh, the builder is the one who do, uh, uh, he know everything. He, uh, he make a window for you, he make a door for you, he build a house for you. But in all days, even those things are not exist because the builder is you. The farmer is you. Uh, you. You are the one who make your own clothes. Women, they make the clothes. And men, they take care of the animals. Which means, like, you are your own market, everything. So what job, well, you know, keep a job in uh, McDonald's, what, what's wrong with those people? What, are, what they are talking about? So those people, when they are not working, what they do? They might drink. They might drink, you know, they might uh, have a party. Now, he is saying that the one who is uh, uh, addicted to alcohol, he have mental illness. I like that. I like that, no problem. Uh, first of all, if somebody, uh, if the Bible mentioned that somebody was drunk, doesn't mean that he is alcoholic. Uh, there is people who they are drunk once in their lifetime, or let us say twice or three times. Doesn't mean they are addicted to alcohol. This is a false statement. Secondly, as long you agreed that the ones who they have, they drink alcohol and they are addicted to alcohol, they are mental illness people. This is mean your prophet himself is a sequel. Let us go and see Muhammad not only drinking alcohol five for five to five, four to five days a week non-stop, which means he continued drinking like if he is a sink. Not only that, he teach people how to make wine. So your prophet Muhammad was a drunk person. And not only that, in the time of Muhammad, all the Muslims around him, including Muhammad, they used to drink and drunk and pray in the mosque. So, if those who they are, drunken people, they are mentally ill, 
it means your religion is based on mentally ill people. So he uh, decided to leave Christianity because, as an example, Noah was a drunk. So what? What does this have to do with the Christianity anyway? And who said in the Bible that Noah was a good man or a perfect man of God? He was better than his people, but he is not a perfect man. The Bible says clearly that all men are sinners. And by the way, even the Bible says that to be drunk is a sin. We can give you a ton of verses, tons of verses from the Old Testament. Or from the New Testament. Saying it clearly that drinking is a sin. All over. Do you see it? I'm just moving my, my mouse over, over the verses and they are coming one by one. So when somebody tried to fool us, says, oh, I was shocked that uh, Noah, he was a drinking, he was alcoholic. Uh, you know, this, this is mean he have a mental illness and then uh, he is not uh, fit for the story, for, fit for this. It means you, you, you idiot. Uh, you forgot that the Bible says that all those men, even including prophets of God, they are not a perfect people. So what if they are prophets? And as long as you admit that the one who drink to, to, be, to be drunk, you know, drink to, to be drunk, is have a mental illness, he is addicted, uh, this is, will be uh, your prophet. Because Muhammad was a drunk person, and according to your words, the one who do that, he have a mental illness, not me. Right? You know, uh, uh, wine as anything, too much of anything can kill you. Too much salt can kill you. Too much air can kill you. Too much water can kill you. Anything too much of it can kill you. And wine is the same. Wine or whatever kind of alcohol. So it is not the wine itself is the bad. It is what do you do with it? Otherwise, wine can be very good. You know, uh, 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 everything exists in this life is coming from God. And I, get, I think the Muslims, they are going to agree. Like if, if, uh, if uh, God don't want wine, he is not going to make it exist. And actually, you know what? Let me show you what the God of Islam, he said about wine. You will be surprised. He said it's very good. He said it's very good. Let me see. This is the Quran, chapter 16, verse number 67. Allah Himself saying, "Women, thamarat in nakhiri wal anabi tatakhidun minhu sakaran wa rizqan hasana." Inna fi dalak fi dalik li ayatin li qomin ya ayakulun. Allah is saying that this is even a, a miracle from me. It's a miracle, according to Islam. It's a miracle. Not only that, look what He says: "Tatakhidun minhu sakaran wa rizqan hasana," which means you get it wrong from it. And make good of it. So according to Islam, the alcohol, it's a great, it's a miracle of Allah, and you do good with it, you, you make money from it, and you you, you know, make you drunk, which, which means in this verse, Allah praising the alcohol. Praising the alcohol. Later when Muhammad gets sick, he can't drink no more. Yeah? He was dying after he got the poison. In the last year of his life, he come with this uh, uh, statement saying, uh, you know what, alcohol is bad. Uh, it's from, from shaitan, which is a contradiction. If we go and, uh, and uh, read the, the other verse together. Actually, before we read the other verse, let us, uh, let us read the, the one. I forgot to show, you, to show it to you in English, sorry. Uh, here we go. This is a translation of Bigtal, and the fruits and date palm, grapes, etc. Winds uh, drive a, str a strong drink, also good. It's good, you know, and you make money from it. And it's a blessing, it's a sign from Allah. And, and by the way, the translation of, uh, of Muslims in English is very funny. You know, each time I read the translation of Muslims of any verse in the Quran, you will see the translation is so far from what, what the verse is saying. Okay, you see in here? In the other translation, the word sign disappear. And here the word sign appear. They are in indeed a sign for people who have wisdom. So the, 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 the alcohol is a sign for those who have wisdom. The stupid one do not see it as a miracle. 
The smart one is the one who sees it as a miracle. So who's saying that? Your God. Now we will go to a different verse where Allah he says, supposedly, that wine is from shaitan. Then we notice in here that Allah is saying that this is a sign from Allah. And then he says this is from shaitan. So Allah is shaitan. Because as long as you admit that this is a sign from you, as long as you admit you are the one, you are the maker of the wine, you are the maker of the alcohol. And not only it's a, you are a maker, you made a, it's a miracle. Shaitan cannot make miracles. Then he say that alcohol from shaitan. Let us read together. Look how many verses we have in the Quran saying that the wine and the alcohol from shaitan. Chapter 5 verse 91. Shaitan, he used him to make you uh, uh, fight, to make you enemy to each other. Chapter 5 verse number 90. Hmm? And by the way, this is showing me that the, the one who wrote the Quran can't be the God. Because why are you repeating the same words? It's the same words. Chapter 2 verse 2, uh, 219. It's the same. So, uh, 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 you know, how he say that it is a sign from Allah in different verse. And then he say that it is from shaitan. You know, like w which one of them is the correct? Either, either wine and alcohol is from God or it is from shaitan. It cannot be from both. Who is the, who is the, who is the winemaker? Who, uh, who is the creator of everything? Oh, you believe a strong drink and a game of a chance, an idol and driving arrows, are only an uh, infamy of Satan's handwork. So it's handiwork of Satan. The one who come to you with the, with wine and those things. This is the handiwork of Satan. And the other verse, Allah is saying, this is his handiwork. <laughs> it's a sign. It's a miracle. So do Allah claim that Satan he can make miracles like him? And he can create wine like him or this from Allah. And the funny, Allah says that wine is a sin and wine is from shaitan. And then we find that wine is going to be in the heaven. Which is very funny. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this wine in the heaven will not make us drunk. Don't, don't fool yourself, you, you, you funny Muslims. According to the Quran, you will not be drunk. Not the wine cannot make you drunk, which means the wine is still alcohol. But Allah promised you that you will drink as much as you want without getting drunk, which means you can enjoy it always. So the wine is a wine. That's why it's called wine. So he promised you wine in the heaven. In the same time, it's the handiwork of shaitan. It sounds like Allah is going to buy wine from shaitan, import it to the heaven, and you must then drink it. But Allah is going to make you strong to the point that wine cannot affect you. Right? And in the heaven, actually, wine would not come in, 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 uh, in bottles. It's going to come as rivers. Wine is going to come as rivers, imagine. Which we Muslims, they would swim in the, in, you know, rivers of wine and uh, uh, rivers of milk and wine. You see it? And this wine is very delicious. So if those who are addicted to alcohol, they are mentally ill. It's mean you are in, mentally ill to accept that even in heaven, this God is going to make you have a river of wine. A river of wine, and uh, if we ask ourselves, by the way, uh, Allah, how much how much money Shaitan will make? Shaitan is going to make wine, as as we saw in the other verse. Hmm? And Allah, He need rivers, running rivers. And those Muslims that do nothing except drinking wine, you know, and the the funny the funny about the promise of Allah that He will make them drink, but they will not get it drunk, which by the way is a joke. You know why why the wine in the earth is going to make you drunk, but the wine in heaven will not make you drunk. Give me a reason. A Muslim when he go to heaven, his body will not change. His size will change, yes, but his body as a human, he's still as a human. So what the, what the wine does to you in the earth, it's the same as everything you know does to you. Like you know, a Muslim he will go to heaven, still he eat, still he have sex, and the funny the Muslim they say that in the heaven there is no poopoo. So the Muslims will be eating twenty four hours, having sex, drinking, and there is no poopoo. So the sperm will come out of you is what? Is it a piss? 
Isn't it najis? The Quran speaks clearly saying that the sperm of a man is a najis. You have sex, you have to wash. So, you are just to avoid in, in, in inviting the dirt to the heaven, the Muslim they come with the idea uh, that oh we will not we will not do poopoo as the, as Allah told us, but it's very clear that you will have sex and sex it, according to your Islamic religion according to your Islamic teaching is najis is dirt. So don't tell me that dirt is not in the heaven of your God. It is actually the major promise of Islam. It is sex and wine, and actually Muslims they don't believe in in, in Allah because of nothing they believe in Allah because of this promise they want to have rivers of milk rivers of wine rivers of honey and they want a lot of women for sex and 70,000 boys and 500 gates and palace and castles and do and, and diamond and gold and silver it is a satanic demonic religion so this is smart uh, uh, person he is rejecting the Bible because Noah he was drunk now let us show you Muhammad the drunk man and by the way, I forgot to mention something that still this verse nowhere in the Quran it's forbid the drinking because all what Allah He says, uh, leave it aside, leave it aside. You know, we can show a different verse in the Quran. Uh, and the funny, the Muslim they say to you that Islam came in stages like Allah first He approved alcohol, He praised alcohol, as we showed you in this verse. He said it's a great, you can make money from it, it's wonderful, and then. He says, uh, avoid it. But he did not say, do not drink it. He said, Ish tanibu. Ish tanibu. it's an advice. I advise you to stay away from it. It is from, it's going to, to, to make you do bad, right? Uh, in the same time, we see the following verse in the Quran. Chapter 4, verse number 43. It says, oh, you believer, don't get close to the prayer when you are drunk. Do you see it? Don't get close to the prayer when you are drunk. So when, when God says to his followers, don't pray or don't go to the mosque when you are drunk, what does that mean? It means he is approving them to be drunk. Or what he is saying, don't pray when you are dr drunk. Because people, they may start making fun of Muhammad and his followers. You know, they are drinking and they start falling apart. They are drunk. You know? So Muhammad, he came with this verse saying, come on, guys, let us do something. Don't, don't pray when you are drunk. So the question in here, if as long you admit that those who they are addicted to alcohol, they are mentally illness, they can be good people. It means all the Muslims who follow Muhammad, including Muhammad, they are mentally, mentally illness people, according to your logic. Because here we go. They are the Muslims, not the infidels, not the pagans, not the Christians. It's the one who is praying drunk. Show me where it says that Christians, they go to church and they are drunk. Show me where in the Bible, by the way, I'm saying, the Bible is saying that you can go and, you know, uh, uh, advising us not to go to the church when we are drunk. This is how bad the situation is, which means that the whole population of Muslims at that time, they were drunk people. And the funny Muslims, when they say to us, that uh, Islam came in stages, uh, 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 it's really funny because stages, what stages, you know? I can take this stages issue if it's a uh, first prophet like was 100, 500 years ago and then a prophet came after 200 years ago and 300 years after, etc. You know, uh, that will be stages, I, I understand. But in the same prophet, one verse says that alcohol is from God. It's a miracle. It's wonderful. You can make money from it. Another verse saying, it is from Satan. Other verse saying, oh, don't uh, get, a, get get to, to the prayer when you are drunk. What a stages? You know, do Allah need to say that adultery is a sin by stages? This is funny. Do I need really to say the wrong is wrong by stages? I will tell you what the stages is. The stage is very simple. Muhammad, he used the stages. To fool people as an example <clears throat> I am peaceful man this was a stage huh then he is an immigrant to get ready for the war then he start a war so the, st the first stage is to fool you that he is a peaceful man he make a peace agreement with you then he is the one who cancelled the peace agreement same as in Islam actually you know what 
there's a there's a video about uh, a good Muslim uh, who converted a Jew to Islam by saying to him you can drink alcohol it's a stages of lying you can lie to somebody to convert him to Islam so it's very clear very obvious that those stages present to one thing about Muhammad that he is a hypocrite man he is he is willing to do whatever he can do to make people go under his arm number two if we go and read and see when those verses came we will see the following look with me the verse which saying which saying that the alcohol is a great and uh, wonderful it's a miracle from Allah is a chapter 16 a Nahl chapter according to the uh, Muslims this verse or this chapter came as number 70 between the chapters like today it exists at number 16 in the book because because you know the Muslims they change the location of verses they play with their book and this is one of the funny things about them Allah he sent it this way Muslims they make it different way because Allah must be wrong you know uh, Muslims are correcting the way Allah he sent his book Allah sent it number 70 Muslims make it number 60 in the Quran but the important is the verse or sorry the chapter or the verse is coming saying that the alcohol is a great was chapter number 70 guess when the verse the one saying stay away from it is coming it's chapter 5 but chapter 5 came as a chapter 112 and this is what I'm saying Muhammad was dying Muhammad was dying this is the end of his life this is you know the Quran have 114 chapters that's it 114 chapters so just before he died because he cannot drink no more you remember Muhammad he died by poison Muhammad he was jealous because he cannot drink no more so he then he said you know stay away from it he cannot take it no more people are drinking but he cannot now just to finish this you know uh, this is a video this is a Muslim scholar and this is an Islamic TV this is a very well-known Sheikh in Egypt uh, he is going to read for you from Islamic books and actually I'm going to translate and you can ask any Arab person uh, he was going to quote for you even from Sahih Muslim uh, specifically he is going to read uh, some some hadith of Sahih Muslim like this one you know about about uh, the prophet used to drink uh, uh, he prefer not only alcohol he prefer the strong one the one who make you uh, you know drunk uh, even he used to make he make you he used to make wine uh, you know this is by the way a Muslim website and I, I think I'm showing you those hadith from there the Prophet always he used to drink wine even in the mosque he used to drink wine it's all over your Islamic books uh, even even angels they drink you know I'm not making things up even angels they get a drink uh, companion of the Prophet used to be drunk all the time uh, and this is what I'm saying the forbidden of the uh, or not ad forbidden even advising people not to practice such a thing it was at the end of Islam at the end of Muhammad life at chapter 112 uh, Khalifa they are drunk everybody is drunk and suddenly he is saying to us that he was shocked to see Noah is it drunk he was shocked and now this is a video I'm going to translate what they are going to say it's in Arabic but I will translate He's saying that the hadith we are going to read is very strong, very powerful, very correct. So here we go. Don't say that uh, you know we are making things up. I will play from the beginning. And and I found that those hadiths I'm going to read, they are approved and they are strong and they are very very strong. Huh? Whatever. <laughs> Abu Musa reported that the, the Prophet he sent me, me and Abu uh, and Abu, uh, Abu Muaz to the Yemen. So those guys, uh, the Prophet he sent them to Yemen. We said, O oh, Prophet, we found in Yemen a drink is made from 
beer and sha'ir. Sha'ir, um, I don't know what translate the word. Anyway, it's like, you know, to make wine. The same as beer, actually. You know, like when you make beer, you make it from what? I forget the material. Uh, let me see. All right, it's barley. So they make, they use that to, to make uh, uh, alcohol from it. So he, they found two kinds of drink which make people into, uh, like uh, get drunk. And they are asking him which one we drink, we should drink. The first one is called the bird, the second one is called the bird. I think the first one, the bird, is coming uh, from uh, this is where the beer coming from. It's from the Arab. The word beer. <laughs> the first who make beer, maybe it was the Arab. Anyway, so the burr and uh, the other one is the wine. So he's, they are asking him, which one we should drink? The Prophet said, okay, drink, huh? but don't get drunk. Drink, but don't get drunk. So why Muhammad said to them, drink, but don't get drunk? Let's continue. The Sheikh is saying, absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. Why not? Why not? He's saying, yeah, what's wrong with this? Like, so, and you know, he's, he's, he's praising the host. He's saying, you know, I feel like I'm sitting next to someone. He is very knowledgeable. So he's asking now for the answer. Why the prophet saying to him, drink alcohol, but don't get drunk. Why he's approving that? Now the, the sheikh is going to answer. He's saying the coming one, let me continue. The coming hadith, I can't even read it. Why? Because it's so powerful. See, like it's so strong. It's, it's, a, it's a problem for Muslims. He said, why? There's a vagina there? The, the guy, he said, no, but you read it. He said, each time I speak to Muslims about this, they say, astaghfirullah, billah, this is not true. But he's saying, this is something exists in Sahih Muslim. Please, please you read it. Please, you read it. You, you as a sheikh, people they will accept it more than uh, from me. I'm not a sheikh. So this guy is saying to the other guy, you are a sheikh. So you read it. The guy is saying, it's okay, it's okay, you read it. Hey, just read. The uh, Ibn Qayyim Jawziya, one of the biggest scars of Islam in the book of at tibb al-Nawawi, the medicine of the Prophet. He is saying. The, the last line, if you please. It's been known, very well known, that the Prophet, peace be, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah pray on him and salute him. He loved wine. Yuhibbu al-Nabiz. And Ibn Qayyim al-Jawziya, you say in his book, the uh, the medicine of the prophet and it's a proven it's a correct hadith from Sahih Muslim that the prophet may Allah salute him and pray on him he they used to give him wine in the beginning of the night and he kept doing this until the morning listen carefully he you know, they give him wine in the beginning of the night. He kept doing this until the morning. And the night after. <laughs> Just count with me how many night now. I'm not the one saying that. I get you this video so people they can see. So he start the first night. Now the second night still he's drinking. And the, other, the third night. This is a three nights. Non-stop drinking. And the day after until afternoon. The first night, the second night, the third night, and the day after and the afternoon. And Muhammad did not stop drinking. And if there is something left, if, if, he give it to the slave to drink it.
كثير من الصحابة كانوا يذكرون لا This guy is saying, you know, I, I read this about the Prophet, and now, uh, so, so now we understand that uh, uh, many of the companions of the Prophet they used to be drunk. <laughs> He's saying, uh, uh, not only they are drunk, they are making, uh, making wine. They, they are experts. <laughs> oh, he's saying, oh, they don't, uh, they don't get drunk, they drink, you know, what, what are you saying? The, the host is saying it's written in front of you. <laughs> you see? So, look, guys. The prophet of Islam is drinking three, three nights and a day after, which means four days, total four days. And the Muslim, they want to convince us that the prophet is not a drunk person. Who can drink four days non-stop and he is not a drunk? So, you are telling me you rejected Christianity because you found Noah drunk? When all of Islam is based in a bunch of drunk people, those are references for those who want to read about all the, the, the Khalifa who they are drunk. Uh, Umar al Khattab, actually, Umar al Khattab, he, he preferred not to drink uh, water ever. You know, he, uh, he says, uh, uh, accept the wine. You know, like, don't give me water. Give me, uh, don't say to us we will replace the wine with something else. You know? Anyway, I think this is enough. I hope you guys did learn something with this video. Uh, if you have a big account, the video is long. Uh, we could not make it short. Please load this video in your account and let us spread this all over. Thank you.